there's always this awkward part when you first start a live where you're like just waiting for the first couple of people to show up. Hi, Nicholas. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Do, 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 do. We'll just wait a little bit. Hey, Sam. Hello. So today's live is going to be kind of um, short and sweet. Well, we're going to try to keep it that way, but you guys know how I ramble. Um, so uh, I am going to be hosting a giveaway, which I am so excited about. If you are on my, um, if you're subscribed on my website to my newsletter, hey Megan, uh, then you would have seen that uh, on Monday I was going to be announcing that uh, giveaway. Uh, however, there was obviously some family stuff that happened, so that got pushed back. Hey, Jaden. Um, so I am announcing that today. Now, this giveaway is something that's been, uh, it's a long time coming for sure. So uh, once I hit 21,000 followers on Instagram, I thought I would do a 21K giveaway in 2021. So I'm almost at 22. So I was like, I got to get this out here fast before I hit 22 and then it doesn't make sense. So uh, your foiled highness. Oh my gosh. I love that. Um, so for this giveaway, this is stuff that I've been accumulating over time. It's all stuff that I've picked up myself. So it's not like in... Um, like I'm not doing this with any companies or anything like that. It's just stuff that I use myself. It's stuff that is like my favorite to use when I craft and just things along that line. So I thought that I would share with you today a little sneak peek of some of the things. Hey everyone, thanks for joining today. I thought I would share with you guys a little sneak peek of everything or some of the things anyways that are going to be in this giveaway and uh, Nicholas, I made my website with Wix. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the stuff or some of the stuff in my giveaway today and then you'll see a post later on today on Instagram and that will have all of the details of how you can enter and there'll be bonus entries if you do certain things. So just make sure you follow all of the rules that are posted but you'll see a big um, post about that later on my Instagram page. So stay tuned for that. Hello everyone that's just joining. Today we're going to be looking at some of the things that are included in the giveaway that is going live today. So uh, let me just pull this box over without you guys seeing it in the camera. Okay, so the first thing, these are my favorite pens. So I recently posted a reel and a TikTok using these pens. They are the Papermate Ink Joy. I really like using these for um, planning and um, I'm a list person, so I like to make lists a lot and then cross them off my list. Hello everyone. And um, they don't bleed. They don't go through the other side of the page unless you're writing on tissue paper, but yeah. so. This pack of four pens is included. And then I also really like using these Sharpie Fine pens. So I don't even know what they're called. Uh, the Sharpie pen, but they're all fine lines. So those will be included. And then I have a pink bullet journal. So it's, it's not super thick, but uh, Got one of these. So you can use your new pens in said book or you can give it to someone else. Hey Drew! Uh, and uh, this is just one of those little letter boards and I think they're really cute, especially if you have a craft space or just like a little space that's your own. It's nice to put little interchangeable words on there, give yourself some motivation. So that's included. Um, we've got uh, mechanical pencils. I really like writing with mechanical pencils. Hey Jade, 
So we got a couple of those. These are from BIC. They're the BIC Velocities. So you got two in there. Um, what else do we have? Uh, let's see. Sorry, there's a lot of stuff in here. One second. Uh, oh, we have Cricut Infusible Pen. So that's exciting. So these are the four, um, the Point four neons, so those should be fun. Hopefully, you guys will be excited about those. Um, oh, if we're there's a lot of pens and stuff, but I really like pens. Uh, so this is the Tombow, and if you know how to say this, don't come for me if I say it wrong. <laughs> but it's spelled food in a souk, so I assume that's how you say it. But this is my absolute go-to for small brush lettering. So you're gonna get one of those. I love these. Uh, and then this is not necessarily craft related, but it's something like I always like to have on the back of my phone is a way to prop it up, especially if you're filming a little video or something. So you'll have one of these that you can stick on the back of your phone. Um, let me see here. Oh, so you'll also be getting one of my mask bundles. So these are all handmade. So I make the masks, the key fob wristlet. Uh, there's also a scrunchie in there and then um, a little pouch that you can store your mask or your sanitizer in. I didn't make the pouch, but I get them to match. Uh, so that will be included, and if you prefer a different color, I have lots to choose from too, so you don't necessarily have to take this one. And um, let me see, there's so much stuff to go through. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Uh, one of these sketchbooks, so it's nice and compact, so you can stick it in your bag and then go. Um, good quality paper on these. I've always used these types of book for books for sketching, so that will be included. And uh, one of my favorite holographic uh, adhesive vinyl companies is TechRap Craft. And hello everyone. So one of these full rolls of adhesive vinyl will be included. This is the Glossy Rainbow. Uh, so it's like a dark holographic. I'm not sure if it'll show up too well on the camera there, but that will be included. And so I also have a brush lettering book from Kelly Creates. So um, I, when I first started, I watched a lot of her tutorials. You can find her on Instagram and whatnot. So when I first started brush lettering, lettering her tutorials really helped a lot. So I scooped up one of these and uh, that will be included in the giveaway as well. Something else that will be included is this tumbler. So um, I have removed it from my website so it's no longer available for purchase because it's now included in the giveaway and um, what we can do is add a decal on it. Mirror Chrome Silver will look amazing on this so we can put your name on it, we can put your friend's name on it if you want to give it to them as a gift and then it'll be sealed over top with epoxy. So this will be in the giveaway as well and this i think is i feel like i <laughs> jade oh my god the tumbler tumbler um so i feel like i say this after every tumbler that i make but this is definitely one of my absolute favorites i just i love the color combination of all the different glitters <sighs> Are you surprised it's not purple? <laughs> when you do the labels, do you use a Cricut? Yes, I do. I use my Cricut Explore Air 2 to make the labels. Um, and then one other thing that I'm, this is the last thing that I'm gonna share from the giveaway. I'm not gonna give away anymore, um, is this. So it is a Google Home Mini. So you can use this while you're crafting, when you're creating. 
if you're just hanging out and yeah so that will be included as well so i am so excited about this giveaway uh so it is going to be open for a few days like i said at the beginning of this live i will be posting information later today on instagram for how you can enter and receive all of these amazing things and it'll be open worldwide. So I know that I have a lot of friends that support me on this page from all over the world. And uh, even though shipping is absolutely nuts, I didn't think it was fair for me to not open it up to absolutely everyone. So, um, cause I'm really, really appreciative of everyone that has supported me this far. So um, yeah, so I'm excited about this. I hope you guys are excited. I really like doing this kind of stuff. And I have another giveaway that's coming, but that's in the future. So we'll focus on this big boy right now. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hey, Maddie. So yeah, um, now originally this was going to be a live Q&A, but I was just too excited to not share all of these things. But if you guys have any questions, then by all means, drop them in the comments. I'm seeing them as they come through, and I would be happy to answer those questions. Uh, one of the questions that I received um, in my little question box that I put in my stories earlier was whether or not I watch or whether or not I listen to music when I craft. And it's so crazy because um, I'm very musical. Uh, we have a, a home studio in our house where we do a lot of music stuff. Brady actually went to school for audio production. So we love music, but I find when I'm crafting, I get too distracted when I listen to music. I taught dance for many, many years. So in my head, I immediately start thinking of like moves and choreography, and then I just can't focus on what I'm doing. So instead I tend to watch, or not watch, but I listen to like podcasts, or I'll just put on a playlist on YouTube of videos with um, or like content all about small businesses so that I can learn things. Hey, Abby, so that I can learn things at the same time as me creating or doing stuff with my business. So I don't typically listen to music when I'm in here um, crafting or creating things, but I will listen to podcasts and whatnot. So, but yeah, that's kind of interesting, I think. Hey, Maddie. Uh, yeah, so that was one of the questions that I had. Uh, someone asked earlier um, how I make my website. Nicholas asked that. Uh, I used Wix. It was a long process and I did it completely myself. And then before it went live, I did send it uh, to a couple of my crafty friends out there just so they could kind of test it out and give feedback. And uh, it, that was really helpful. So, cause you can stare at something for so, so long and um, I don't know, you stare at something for so long and then you totally miss things, like even small little grammatical things um, that somebody else will pick up on quick. You you should watch Angela Jas Jasmina on YouTube. She owns a couple of bus businesses like an Etsy and Shopify. I will have to check her out. There is another YouTube channel that if you guys have not checked out, uh, I found it really, really helpful and I still watch her videos. Um, it is the Creative Hive, I believe it's called. So she posts so much content about running creative businesses and um, upping your engagement. So she talks about social standings and like your social media standings and your websites and like so much beneficial stuff and it's free because it's on YouTube. So that's, that's sweet. And I always say too, when you find content like that, sit through the ads because you're not paying to watch the content, but you know that the creator of that gets a little bit of a kickback every time you sit through an ad and it's very helpful. I know that now because my YouTube channel is monetized. I totally, totally get it. So sit through ads if you can. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? They can be personal questions. They can be crafting related, business related, absolutely anything. I'm an open book. 
do, do, do. Otherwise, I'll sit here and ramble and dance awkwardly to no music. Looks like we're going with that option. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but on Friday, I launched my Valentine's card collection. They are for adults. So um, we've got some adult content. These are two of the ones I made in my video. This one says, I'd really like a pizza dat af. And this one says, I can't wait to mount and do you i love it uh, so those are uh, live now in my shop on my website and the tutorial for those is also on youtube so you can check that out if you're interested in learning how i did those um looks like doo -doo -doo -doo. what else is in store for you oh man what a question so that's so tough because i feel like the sky is the limit um so there's so much stuff that I want to do. There's a lot of stuff that I can't talk about yet because uh, I just, I can't talk about it yet. So exciting things that are coming, but things that I can talk about or hmm, this year, I really want to focus more on the education side of things. I love making custom orders and I'm still going to do that, uh, but I will be sort of I don't know if advertising less is the correct way to put it but I'm just going I'm going to be focusing more of my time towards the education side of things that's where I feel the most fulfilled that's um I don't know I just I really enjoy doing that teaching teaching people the things um that I've always wanted to learn how to do and then once I find it out then once I find out how to do it then I can share I don't know it's just it's I like doing that. So I'll be focusing more on the education side of things. I really want to push forward with my YouTube. That would be incredible. Um, it's it's picking up steam, it seems, so that's cool. I want to do a lot more unboxing videos and product trials so that I can share those uh, things with you so you can either uh, determine, yes, you want to buy that thing or no, it's a waste of your time and money. Stay away from it. I've got a lot of those videos already filmed. Um, one of them being for these washi tape holders. They're crap. They're crap. So you'll see that video coming <laughs> soon. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, there was a few other questions here that I missed, but yeah, there's, there's lots in store for me, but I think, um, dedicating more time to my online stuff is the biggest thing that's going to happen. I've already taken over a second room in my house for crafting and, uh, thankful for Brady for allowing me to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, the sky's the limit at this point. That's my mindset anyways. Okay, so when foiling, do you only use a mink or do you use an Amazon laminator? So I don't own an Amazon laminator. I do have another laminator, but I've never actually used it for foiling. I know a lot of people are successful using an Amazon laminator. Uh, for instance, uh, Cooper Calligraphy is on Instagram. She does all foiling and she uses one of the Amazon laminators and her stuff is great. Um, I use my mink because that's what I have. I can definitely do some tests like scoop up an Amazon laminator and try doing some things with that. If that would be beneficial for you guys to see then I'm all about it. But yeah I use my mink because that's what I have and I bought it used. So if you can scoop up one of those deals definitely jump on that. I hate paying full price for anything. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Is it Laren? I hope I'm saying that right. I'm glad you like my cards. Uh, tips on balancing your crafty business with your other job. That's a great question. And I am not great at it all the time, but I've definitely learned <laughs> along the way. So for those of you that don't know, I do work full time. Um, but I only work four days a week. So I work a longer shift, but I get it all in four days. So that means I have three days off. And in that time, I just have to make sure that I am, like I work best when I have things laid out 
planned out and scheduled. So I'm not sure if you have the same mindset, Sam, that you have to have things planned out and scheduled, but like right now I have things planned out until the end of April for what I'm gonna do on every single one of those days. So I know, okay, I need to film a YouTube video on this day. The next day is when I'm going to edit it and I am going to, on Sundays, um, load up the app to post all of my Instagram posts for the next week so that I'm not thinking about Instagram posts every single day. I'm thinking about it one day. It's more time. And then um, one of the other big, big things that takes up a lot of my time is watermarking all of my photos because I do it all individually so I can place my watermark where I want it to be. That takes a long time. So I have to do that before I can take those pictures to post them on Instagram. So I would say just planning out your time and make sure you schedule time for you like just your downtime because that is so important how many times have I disappeared and then come back because I was dealing with mental health stuff or got burnt out and you just you have to be careful and make sure that you schedule that time for yourself as well or if you make a schedule and you are not staying on track with it, maybe you need to adjust that schedule. But just, yeah, I don't know. It's it's definitely a balancing act for sure. And who knows, maybe one day I will be doing this full-time and not have a full-time job. I don't know. That makes me a little nervous. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of my insight on balancing full-time job and crafty business as well. Um, Nicholas is asking what kind of tripod I use. So that's a good question. I've had my tripod for many moons. It is from my camera, uh, or for my camera rather. Let me grab the case one second. Oh, I was really hoping that there was going to be a name on the bag to indicate what kind of tripod it was, but there is nothing, so I apologize for that. I have honestly had this tripod for probably 12 years, so I doubt that you would find the same one anyways. Some of the new um, tripods or phone holders, rather, that I have picked up are uh, I scooped up an Archon mount which is the most expensive most expensive mount I've ever purchased and I've been seeing a lot of those going around on Instagram lately people testing them out um I filmed the whole unboxing and review of my Archon mount and there's definitely pros and cons for sure so I'll share those with you guys um because it, it's an expensive piece and then I also got a um, mount, if you saw my stories a little while ago, it's purple and it goes like around my neck. And it's supposed to be so that you can lay in bed and watch your phone if you're watching YouTube or Netflix or whatever, then you can do it hands free. Um, but I got it so that I could turn around and then do sort of like point of view videos of me packaging or making crafts or whatever so those are a few different things and um i'll link all of them in my uh amazon shop i haven't done that yet but i will i just wanted to um try that try them out before i put them in my shops so, so that i'm not suggesting crap for you guys to buy oh uh, thank you maddie i just saw your comment there that's really sweet of you to say if you guys um are in the London area and if you need any crafty stuff make sure you check out made by mads period underscore she's commenting here a few times you might see her name she's doing awesome stuff and let's see do we have any other questions that's super helpful thank you I feel like I'm always playing catch up so I'm going to try some better planning yeah honestly Plan, plan, plan. Like I have so many, I'll turn this a little bit. I have so many books and I've got my dry erase calendar up here and just planning is gonna be your your biggest um, 
your biggest help. I find when I don't plan, I get really overwhelmed and I think like, oh my gosh, I have 30 orders to work on and how am I going to get this done? And I spend so much time stressing about how I'm going to get it done when I could be using the time I'm stressing to actually get the stuff done. So yeah, definitely a good thing. Hey Mel, have you always been a crafty gal? I think to some extent I've always been artsy fartsy kind of into crafts growing up um I was babysat by my aunt and she does like toll painting and um she would build bird houses and make wicker furniture and hey Lisa and um yeah I I think that's kind of where it started because I was there all the time. So we were always doing fun crafts and stuff. And then my sister, she also babysat me a lot. And she's 15 years older than me. I'm the youngest of five, actually. Um, but she's 15 years older than me. And every time we went over to her house, we were doing coloring or crafting and uh, making Play-Doh. So always something along those lines. And then my family was really musical, like I mentioned that before. So if we weren't doing that sort of artsy stuff, we were doing music. So I've always been into the arts in some aspect or another. I've also really, really been into um, acting. So I've done a lot of live theater and I absolutely love doing that too. So I think that that helps me doing this kind of stuff um yeah like feeling comfortable interacting I guess I don't know it's I don't want to say it's like improv but it kind of is you're flying off the seat of your pants right so do we have any other questions do, 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 do. you're the best actress <laughs> thanks Mel <laughs> do, 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 do. So I can tell you that the YouTube video that is debuting uh, on Friday coming up, uh, it is going to be another dollar store DIY. So I created a organizer for my thread spools. So originally I had them in my other craft room, but now I have my sewing machine in this room permanently set up so I don't have to get it out every time I wanna use it. So now I have my thread storage in here. So I'm gonna show you a cool way to create a thread storage organizer thingamabob because they're stupid expensive to buy online. So I why buy online for an insane price when you can make it for like five bucks. So that's coming out on Friday, so stay tuned for that. Oh, uh, what's your favorite way of foiling? So, uh, my process for foiling is I create my design on my iPad Pro, and then I will send it over to my computer and I will use a program like um, Microsoft Publisher or Inkscape, and I will send it from there to my laser printer, which is the LaserJet Pro MFP M127FW, I, th I think. Um, it's super old, so you probably won't be able to find it again. Um, and then I foil, I, I'm not loyal to any specific foil brand. I use all different kinds. Sometimes I foil with a transfer folder, sometimes I foil without, and I use a mink machine. So I hope that kind of clarifies how I do my foiling. That's my, it's my favorite way because that's how I do it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, can you make a video how you edit your videos with Final Cut Pro and iMovie? Yes, I can. I have to kind of work out the logistics of how to do that um but i'm sure i could figure it out i think yeah i'm sure i'll figure it out a way to do that and uh it not be a day long video because <laughs> honestly editing my videos takes so so long for youtube there's so much stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you have no idea and if you think my videos are long as it is you should see them before i cut them down because they are 
more than double the length that they are when you see them. Um, I have lots of like dead space between my words. I say um a lot and it's a lot of stuff that I have to cut down and I ramble as you guys know so I usually end up cutting out a lot of that stuff too. Um, and then also I do sound too. So with iMovie you have less control over um, editing your sound but um, Final Cut Pro it is like paid so you obviously get more features and uh, you can really adjust your sound more which is uh, beneficial for me anyways because if I don't turn my furnace off to start filming my videos um, you can hear it really bad I'm just gonna tilt this back uh, can you see so my furnace pipes or whatever you call that run right through here so it is noisy so I have to edit my sound to uh, try and get rid of some of the hum and whatnot. Hey Steph! So yeah there's so much that goes into it and then of course adding in your music and and whatnot. It's a it's a long process but I I think I'm too much of a perfectionist to just film a video and then not edit at all and then toss it up. I know you guys would get more content uh, you want to see my voice over mic? Uh, it's in my other room, but I will run really quick and grab it. One second. I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I grabbed the box. I keep the box for everything, so this will be helpful. Um, so it's like Nikama, I think. It's it's a lavalier mic. Uh, I have this linked in my Amazon shop as well. It was uh, pretty cheap, so I want to say it was around $20. I don't know if it still is, but pretty cheap, and it upped my audio quality like tenfold. So the cord on it is well this looks like a dog's breakfast but it's really really long so if you know what my setup is like in my other craft room usually i will have my tripod set up and then i will run my mic cord underneath my craft desk and then <laughs> sometimes up the leg of my pants and then underneath my shirt and then i will kind of tape it to myself hey natalie so um it comes with uh, different options. There's like a really, really fuzzy one, which I don't really use because I'm not dealing with wind inside. Uh, so that clips on. Now the only thing was, it's like an AC or like a headphone jack. So I had to purchase this little adapter piece because I shoot on an iPhone XR and there's no port for this. So I did have to get this piece extra. So keep that in mind if you don't have a headphone jack on your phone. But yeah, that's the that's the mic that I use. Eventually, I think I'd like to upgrade and get something wireless. But for now, twenty bucks in my budget that is a a win a win for me. Um, if you had to pick a favorite neighbor, who would it be? <laughs> if you guys can guess, that's my neighbor. <laughs> uh, you guys for sure. You're my favorite neighbors. <laughs> Hello, all the way from California. Wow, my goodness. Oh, what about the blue Nessie mic? I don't have time to run all the way upstairs. I So when I do my editing, um, that's done in our music studio upstairs. And that's where I do my voiceovers. Oh yeah, you did say voiceover mic too. Sorry, I totally mis I misread that. <laughs> um, my voiceover mic is upstairs in that room. It's called the blue Nessie mic. I can post a picture of it later so that you have a better idea of what it looks like. Um, but I got that for Christmas seven years ago, maybe six years ago. So I've had it for a while too. And it works great. It looks almost like the Loch Ness Monster, the way that it's shaped. So that's why they call it Nessie. So yeah, that's, that's that mic. All right, let me see here. Any other questions? 
Hello, lots of friends joining us today. Are you guys surprised that I'm not wearing a toque right now? <laughs> I am. Especially with my roots coming in. Hello, time for a box dye. I have the blue snowball mic. Cool. I've not used that one, but I've heard that it's great as well. So if you're just joining us now, feel free to drop any questions that you have. Um, hey, hey, uh, drop any questions you have in the comments section there and I will be sure to answer them. Um, otherwise, we did just go through some of the awesome things that are going to be in the giveaway that's going live later today. One of them being a Google Home Mini. Uh, we've got some Cricut infusible ink pens, which is super exciting. And then one of my custom tumblers. Huh? What's your favorite vinyl that you use on tumblers? It honestly depends on the type of design that I'm doing. So if we're talking shiny, um, fun, like mirror chrome finishes, for sure it's going to be tech wrap craft so i i've used them since the beginning they actually when i first started to kind of gain um gain sort of a following on instagram they noticed a lot of my posts where i tagged them and they asked um if um if they could send me some products to try because they wanted to thank me for using their stuff and then also kind of promoting them because I was tagging them. So they sent me some stuff and I have been using it ever since. Like I still pay for their stuff. I buy it on Amazon all the time. You can buy directly from them as well. They, I think I still have a coupon code with them that if you use it to buy like X amount of money worth of vinyl on their site you can use the code to get a certain amount off i'm not sure it's linked in my youtube but um and then if we're talking just like basic like red adhesive vinyl um my go-to for sure is oracle 651. so i use permanent vinyl that has been my go-to from the start and um what i typically do is buy a like variety pack so i was when i first started just buying like singular rolls and um i then you only have like one or two colors and i'm like you know what if i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this right i'm gonna have lots of options and just go for it so i went on amazon and uh, i think i have the bundle linked in my shop too but i bought a massive bundle of like I want to say it was like over 30 different roll colors to this day I have not used all of them and you have to be careful because there's a shelf life on vinyl as well but uh, that was definitely the way to go it was the most cost effective the only thing that was annoying was they all came rolled together in like a wad this big and you had to unroll this giant log of <laughs> vinyl and then roll it back up. But yeah, Oracle 651 is my go-to for vinyl um, that's just standard. And then my um, like fun stuff is usually tech wrap craft. I'm not opposed to using, using anything else, especially if I'm going to be sealing it with epoxy after anyways. Uh, but yeah, those are my go-tos. And how is the sublimation working printer working out? You made the conversion look so easy. I want to purchase one. Okay, so the conversion part, easy peasy, um, that no problem there. But I will tell you, it takes time to figure this out. It's uh, it's been a lot of trial and error. And if you guys saw my sublimation apron video. Uh, <laughs> you would have seen how many times I tested out a design on a uh, apron before I got it to work the way I needed it to. So just be prepared to waste material, but in the end, like you're learning 
it's yeah I don't know it's my printer is working great no issues there it's just sublimation in general takes a lot of time to fine-tune things and uh, but once you get it it's awesome I love it um, yeah I'm just like I'm looking across the room at some of the stuff that I've done and yeah I just I love how permanent it is you don't have to worry about anything lifting off which is something that gives me anxiety um I know that you can be limited by colors of garments if you're working with clothing but to me the um the up that the upside of sublimation is it being so permanent so pros and cons to both but my printer's working great I don't like Cricut permanent vinyl I rather have Oracle. Yeah, I, um, longevity, I definitely go for Oracle over Cricut. It's not that I won't use it. I just much prefer to use Oracle. Uh, you just got your first roll of tech wrap craft vinyl. That's awesome. That's going to be fun. I can't wait to see your projects. Have you ever done any 3D printing? N oh, what am I doing here? Let me, mm I just pressed a button. Sorry, guys. Uh, no, I have not. I don't know if Natalie is still in the chat, but she does 3D printing or she has done 3D printing and it's pretty cool. Yeah, 3D printers are stupid expensive. So if I ever get something like that, it probably won't be for a very long time. Um, but they are pretty cool. I have not tried it, though. I also would die for a glow forge if you're not sure what a glow forge is you got to look it up because they are sweet i have purchased enough equipment for this space for a while though i need to settle down i just i i see something and i'm like i need that i need it now i have a problem <sighs> any other questions guys thanks again for joining me today it's always fun to hang out. Yes, Glowforge all the way. Apparently they have like payment plans and stuff, but uh, I'd rather just save up so I have the amount and then buy it. I, I mean, obviously with pandemic stuff, this can't happen, but I've really been wanting to save to go on a vacation. I've never been anywhere tropical. And I think that would be so fun. Uh, obviously like, It'll be a long time before that happens, but I think I might have to do that before I start saving for a glow forge. I need a little escape, you know? Okay, guys. Uh, for sure. I don't want to pay off. Yeah, for sure. I don't want to be in debt. Although I was so nervous about um, purchasing my Cricut when I first bought it because I'm like, ooh, this is so expensive, but it paid for itself in a month. So sweet. Where would I go? Um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking like maybe the Dominican, like maybe, I don't know, Punta Cana. I've heard great things. If you have any suggestions, I am all ears. Basically, we would want to go somewhere that we can also golf because we really like golfing. Although it's expensive to bring your golf clubs. I would be fine renting a set of golf clubs, but uh, Brady would need to bring his. He's a little bit more picky with his clubs than I am. Hawaii. Ooh, that would be nice. I've heard that the Bahamas is amazing too. <sighs> there's so many places. My older brother went there and he loved it. Yeah, there's so many options. Obviously down the road because we won't be traveling for a long time. I don't even have a passport, so... <laughs> I am in Ontario forever. I did go on a trip in 2010 though. I went to Greece with my high school and that was pretty crazy. Yes, Punta Cana, all inclusive would be so much fun. You have beautiful courses there too. <sighs> yeah, I think that's probably gonna be where we go. Brady's not the type of guy where he can just like sit on a beach and chill out and that be the vacation. He's gotta be able to do things too where I'm like, <sighs> 
I will be a beached whale and you can enjoy the rest of your week. So, um, yeah, I, I totally get that. We both have to be able to do our, our, the things that we like, especially when spending that much money on a vacation for a week. <laughs> Go to Florida. I have been to Florida once and I went with my friend Natalie and we went to Universal Studios and um how long were we gone i feel like we were gone a week we went on like a march break with her family this was a long time ago too but yeah that i think that was the last trip that i've ever taken the only time i've been out of the country out of canada was to go to greece and to go to florida that one time so which i know is more than some people have done some people haven't left the country at all but I should get a passport. I'm really going off on a tangent here. I started thinking about vacations and now my mind is gone. Do you guys have any more questions about anything? If not, we'll end this live here and then you can stay tuned for my page. Uh, stay tuned to my page later on today. I will post all of the instructions on how you can win lots of things. Also, make sure you are subscribed to my newsletter on my website before February 1st because a new newsletter will come out and that has coupon codes for SBGs and um, it always it's always going to have freebies, at least one. In January, there was two freebies. I've had a blast chatting with you guys too. All right, so we will call it a day at that. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, now I awkwardly have to try and figure out, we just did this a few days ago. How do I do it? Okay, <laughs> I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you next time. All right, okay, bye.